questions for King James Bible critics. Since you're smart enough to find mistakes in the King James, why don't you correct them all and give us a perfect Bible? Do you have a perfect Bible? Since you do believe the Bible is our final authority in all matters of faith and practice, could you please show us where Jesus, Peter, James, Paul, or John ever practiced your terminology of, well the Greek text says, the Hebrew text says, oh the originals say, a better rendering would be, older manuscripts read, etc. Since you do not profess to have a perfect Bible, why do you refer to it as, God's Word? Remembering that the Holy Spirit is the greatest teacher, who taught you, that the King James Bible was not infallible. The Holy Spirit, or man. Since you do believe in the degeneration of man, and in the degeneration of the world system in general, why is it, that you believe education has somehow developed, and that men are more qualified to translate God's word today than in 1611? You of course know the fact, that there is one true God, yet many false gods. There is one true church, consisting of true born-again believers in Christ, yet there are many false churches. So why'd it be wrong to teach, that there is one true Bible, yet many false Bibles? Isn't it true, that you believe God inspired his holy words in the originals, but has since lost them, since no one has a perfect Bible today? Isn't it true, that when you use the term, the Greek text, you are being the deceitful and lying, since there are many Greek texts? plural, rather than just one. Before the first perversion was published in 1881, the revised version, the King James was published, preached, and taught throughout the world. God bless these efforts and hundreds of millions were saved. Today, with the many new translations on the market, very very few are being saved. The great revivals are over. Who has gained the most from the new versions? God, or Satan?